This specific shot was filmed from inside the camper van on an extreme close-up so we could get in and connect really well with Brad. And we had some feedback saying that it should be done by a female so we can really um, like enhance the idea of getting the female gaze so not feeling sort of uncomfortable getting up close and getting a specific image. Um, it was sort of a pan around to let the sunlight beam in through the side of the camper van and then a back round so then we can focus back on um, Brad's face and it worked really well. Uh, for the roller coaster shot, I um, I had the camera in my left hand as we was going around on the roller coaster and kept my arm as outstretched and straight as possible with the LCD flip round so that we could see what our uh, what we were doing and to make sure that it was in frame. And really, it was just a matter of keeping it as steady as possible while the roller coaster was going to get the most sort of genuine reaction and uh, to keep it as sort of like a nice sort of tight frame shot. We used a tracking shot in the beach and the park for the couples. Uh, on the beach we used it as we couldn't use a dolly because there was pebbles, so it had been bumpy and we wanted it to be smooth and the handheld also, almost, uh, also let us uh, keep the same distance and help, gave us more control of what was happening in the scene and also helped us to create an emotional bond with the character. We did a handheld tracking pan movement as the couple walking through the park as to track their movements along. Um, so just in one second, I'll show you that movement. The framing of this shot is what we focused on the most with the sun in the background beaming down onto the couple here. Clearly the focus in the foreground, but in the background we still wanted people playing on the beach to show that it's a fun, nice environment to keep up that nice feeling that you're supposed to feel at this end scene. 